Hey, what's going on, everybody? You're watching Dual Shockers TV on DualShockers.com. We're here checking out Battleborn with Randy Varnell. Awesome. Randy, great seeing you again. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we met back at uh, Borderlands 2. We're on a rooftop yeah, talking about loot and yeah. guns. And man, it was 2012 <laughs> already. Was, Two years we, ago. We were both laughing. We both had some more hair. I think I was a little thinner. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> um, but now he, we've, we've come full circle. We're talking Battleborn. Yeah, and I was so excited about it. Brand new. It, it's brand new, but brand new to, to us. But you guys have been working on it for a long time. Now. Since, in fact, probably right after we talked last time, you know, we, we started the initial dreams about what we wanted to do with that, you know, and started the talks and started picking out what we wanted to do with a, with a, where we wanted to go after Borderlands. Gotcha. And, now, and, and that's a big question our community get, gives us sure. all the time. You know, you got those hardcore fans, myself included, about borderlands one borderlands two leveling up loot gear it's all about it. that i know it it's great right i love it but and then people say well, well what happened what, why what's battleborn why why no borderlands three sure sure well we you know when we got to the end of borderlands two we really looked at the things that we love about that franchise the same thing you and i talked about a couple of years ago you know and a couple of those things are, are really cool. You know, like we love the characters. You know, we the loot was cool. We did a ton of loot, tons and tons and tons and tons of guns. But the characters, you know, we made we made four for the main game of Borderlands Two, and then released uh, the Necromancer and Krieg after that. And then now the pre sequel's coming out. It's got four more. You know, a lot of different ways of play. And at Gearbox, we really love the characters because every time you do a character, you know, the guns give you a great variety of ways to play. You know, shooter style. But the characters really mix it up. You know, you think of it like in Borderlands 2 parlance, you know, you, or in terms Maya, you know, traps right. enemies in a bubble. You know, Zero freaks them out with, you know, right. with the, the stealth thing. You know, Salvador dual wields and all that. Well, those action skills for the characters were really cool. And so we wanted to, to explore different ways other than just guns to really change up the play style. In Borderlands, you know, also, you know, the characters in that universe, because it, it's played and balanced for that four-player co-op in Borderlands, you know, all the characters kind of move in the same same way. You're going to get a little bit different with Claptrap, but they move at the same speed and, and they, you know, they take enemies and, and, and have that loot. In Battleborn, we wanted to see what happens when, what do you have when you have the big, slow, tanky guy right. mixed in with, you know, an elf that can just dance from the treetops, <laughs> you know, and move back and forth through that. And, and now you guys are exploring that a lot more. I mean, yeah. we, in a snapshot, saw more characters that you guys have developed here than the last two <laughs> Borderlands, which is incredible to I me. I know, it's a, oh, it's a lot of work, <laughs> but but it's been, it's been oh, such a labor of love, right? I, we've, we've announced nine so far that we've talked about, and you already get a, a really good taste of the difference. There's gonna be more coming, I can see oh, it yeah. in, in the background. Oh yeah, 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 they're gonna get weird. <laughs> I like, <laughs> weird, weird is good, weird is good. Weird is different, weird is good. Um, now, Battleborn, you, you guys are all about like genre blurring or genre, almost Absolutely. genre defined finding with Borderlands and how you guys set the expectations there. This is no different. I mean, I, in my head, I kind of look at it as a MOBA shooter almost. Do you guys kind of embrace that or do you kind of want to stay away from that? Well, I think the way we like to talk about it, genre blending is a good phrase. You know, when we looked at when we looked at Borderlands, we were mixing shooter and RPG together, you know, kind of taking those great action RPGs and loot and, and mixing them into the first person shooter. Uh, in Battleborn, it's been really important. We knew for right from the beginning that we wanted to stay with that great shooter gameplay. I love the immersion that you have when you're looking from the character's eyes and, and when you're the, the little dude running fast, the, the, the terrain flies by you, when you're the big guy towering over the terrain, you know, it's you really feel that and you right. feel it so much from first person and that ability to aim and to look up and down and move, those are really great fun gameplay and action skill tests that we love. Uh, and, and, you know, in, in, in terms of what we want to do with all of that, we looked at a lot of different genres. I mean, certainly I think Battleborn it, is at the heart. We call it a hero shooter. A lot mm -hmm. of characters, first person shooter experience. But when you look at the gameplay, we certainly wanted to bring some team aspect in it. We wanted to mix in some elements that we like from MOBA, some elements that we like from, fr frankly, from, from real time strategy games, some elements that we love. Certainly RPG, it's got all the RPG loot back into it again. And we'll do some stuff with progression and loot and all of that that, that we'll talk about as, as we get on with it. But more to come. <laughs> more, to, more to come. Yeah. And, but we wanted to mix all of it together. It certainly got some inspiration from MOBAs, but I think to call it a MOBA is, is doing it a massive disservice. I mean, it really is a great first person shooter experience. It's a team based hero shooter. Um, um, uh, playing cooperatively in the cooperative campaign, you know, competitively in, in the multiplayer, 5v5 multiplayer, and, and a lot of different experiences in that first-person presentation. And, and I find that pretty incredible. I mean, you, you guys have been working on it for a while. This is still alpha build. Pre-alpha. Pre-alpha, yeah, and yeah. we're looking at some stuff that looks beautiful already. Well, thank you. Um, you guys are working on, on new architecture, which I'm sure, you know, working on the next-gen stuff is definitely helping you guys and giving you some extra yeah. power. You know, we're, we were talking about, like, density of, of, uh, of mobs on screen and what you guys can awesome? do now. Yeah. You know, comparatively, and, and just even some of the graphics of how certain characters or, or mobs, they 
break apart or they die. It's just you've like, got the the robots that you're fighting right now that you saw today in Battleborn, and it's been awesome exploring with that new powerful technology. Uh, you know, PCs have come a long way in two yeah. years, and then we've got both next gen consoles that are that are you know world. You know, it's been seven or eight years since the last wow. release of you know the the, the 360 and the PS3 and the Xbox One and the PS4 are just amazing to work with, and we've been you know able to keep that high fidelity and the quality of the world. You saw some really right. pretty terrain and environments today, but to just fill it full of enemies. You know, Borderlands 2, we created more than a thousand unique enemies, you know, different varieties, but the density of those enemies that we can have on screen with Battleborn is just incredible. So so we're ramping it up and taking oh, yeah. it to the next level. Oh, I, yeah. I'm all about that. I, I love it. Um, w one of the things we were looking at, and I found it pretty interesting, we were talking a little bit, and you guys mentioned how you're looking at some of the back-end stuff. Like, you're yeah, looking at yeah. how, how people were building certain characters and how people were specking certain characters. Sure. So it's not like you guys are, are you know, you guys really did a lot of homework, if you will, to really kind we, of we did data mine that and see, okay, how are they, how is the player doing this? How are they experiencing this? And you sure. mentioned for this one that you guys are worrying a lot about balancing. I think that's something that's very important to, to kind of mention to everyone. Well, balancing is important anytime you play the game. You know, certainly, uh, and it really even starts back into Borderlands and Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 with the, with the shift stuff and the spark stuff, the, right. the codes that we, you know, you got the golden keys and all the that. But they're part of a back-end system that actually tracked like some challenge completion and stuff like that. So we could tell when, when when's the community killing a lot of these. There were a couple of events that we did yep. where you would go uh, and, and have weekends, you would kill a lot of something and we would get- I was all part of those. And all that. So those are, those are all cool. And we even started then with that idea of how can we, you know, give you some awesome experiences? How can we change your experiences up while you're playing and all that and give you, you know, as much value of a game as, as you can get and just have fun with you. I mean, we like to play with the community too. So when we started Battleborn, we, you know, we started with that technology said, man, we really want to go further. And we want to we want to find a way that we can, you know, we want to be able to handle if, if something goes out of balance. We want to be able to respond very quickly. We want to listen to our community. We want to hear what they like. How are right. they playing the characters? What are they like? And how can we tune and twist and balance the characters to be sure that, that they stay engaging and they stay, they stay in balance? When we add competitive at any point back in, you certainly have to do that. And we have right. to commit heavily on tracking that. But even in quality, Cooperative. We want to be sure that cooperative, you know, it has its challenge and it has its place. You know, there were we watched some some people in Borderlands do crazy things with combos of abilities <laughs> that we didn't. You know, we didn't. You know, when you have a bajillion guns in the game, it's hard to predict every every iteration, certain exploits every of certain guns, so, or certain shields, and certain skills. And uh, having the ability to go back and, and watch that and, and track that, we're doing a lot of internal tracking right now, where we play games and we watch stats and all of that. So we're we're committing pretty heavily to make Battleborn an exceptional AAA experience. Now we. we're we were talking a little bit and the the word esports came up and we were talking <laughs> about pvp and yeah. you know how esports is growing and you know it's is that something that you guys are kind of focusing or putting that kind of, where are you guys setting the bar for battle man ball? i would I, I would love to go there it's it's hard to commit to it because that's such a really tuned experience mm -hmm. and community and all that we're certainly a competitive game we're putting a lot of effort on balance and you know ultimately it's watching what our community wants and likes and all that so you know we'll, we'll get it out there in front of people we'll start playing it we'll see what what people think and see where we go from there yeah i, I mean it's it's exciting to see i know it's exciting from to see you and, and randy and all the guys talk about it and you know the expressions that you guys bring into it <laughs> you know it makes me feel good as a gamer because i know that you guys are putting putting yourselves into it you know and i remember mentioning that to you back with borderlands 2 and i feel that same intensity well, here. i didn't lie to you there <laughs> yeah, it was great right Borderlands Listen, 2 I'm, was a, awesome. I'm a believer uh, you, we need to make everybody a believer and yeah. i know again early on you guys finally are, are get, kind of letting the cat out of the bag a little bit when do you think we'll see a little bit more of the cat when will we oh, what do you think man not soon enough you know <laughs> not soon enough it was really exciting with you guys getting to show you some of the first gameplay i think very soon you're going to be able to release that we'll uh, unleash it on the world and everybody will get to see the game in motion is awesome you know and i think it, it's even better than some of the first teases of screenshots that we've, we've got out you really get to see it moving and it comes all together um you know we're we're we've said 2015 for the release of this game so we've got all, we've got some months to cover between yeah. here and there and obviously pre-alpha so we're still early but man as fast as we can get stuff to you to let you see other parts of the game it's a big it's the most ambitious project gearbox has ever launched in so there's a lot of stuff still to talk about we we put we put a great team on it you know we put a lot of people we put a lot of heart and a lot of effort into it just like we do you know everything and yeah it, it's been a huge investment we've really worked on it um as far as parts of the game, I mean, a campaign like Borderlands, multiplayer now is another big thing. Lots and lots and lots of characters. There's a lot of content yeah. in the game. And then, you know, tying it all together, we, we tease just a little bit today about profile growth and the te 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 ties it all together. And, you know, we'll, we'll release more of that. But it's a big game, a lot of different ways to play. 
Uh, and I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be fun. It's exciting. I'm hoping for early 2015, as sure <laughs> as everybody else is. Um, definitely, this is the type of game where you got to see it in action to kind of understand yeah. it and wrap your head around it because it is a little different. It is a little yeah. different than what everybody's expecting. I'm a believer. Good. I'm going to make these guys a believer as yes. well. Randy, appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very you. much. It didn't let me down with Borderlands 2, so okay. I got high hopes. It's yeah. coming. Here guys, we go, guys. Ba- Battleborn is coming. 2015. We'll we'll be all over this one. So stay tuned. We're out. Thanks.